Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a weapon that just might be the best weapon in the game. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, what is the weapon? The Chimera. To me, it's really a hybrid between an AR, the power of an AR, with the speed of an SMG. So let's have a look at the configuration. First, to go with the Paracord Grip. And I know some of you were wondering why maybe one of the other big creators has said it's not an attachment for every situation and that it hurt some builds. I completely disagree with that. I test in game extensively many different configurations for each of the weapons and you can see this is all green, no red. Who can possibly say that a 18% decrease in the sprint to fire speed, a 6% increase in ADS movement speed and an increase in movement and significant horizontal recoil control can hurt a build. While we're talking about helping or hurting builds, let's keep something in mind. Each build is situational, depending on your play style, maybe what challenges you're going for in that particular game, what your enemy is doing, what modes you're playing, what map you're on. I change my builds according to those parameters and maybe some more, how I'm feeling that day, what my shot looks like that day, am I snapping, am I not snapping? So there are, if I look generically at a build, there are four or five things that I create a build for, and that's for me. Maybe something else works for you. And that is first and foremost, ADS movement speed. I want to be able to dodge the bullets coming at me, make myself harder to hit, and I play a lot of free-for-all, so that's very important. The second is ADS speed, because if you can't get the weapon up, then you're going to get gacked every time. The third is sprint to fire speed, and sometimes I change out the importance of these three, but these three are always very important to me. Sprint to fire speed, because if you're moving around the map, if you're creating angles on the enemy, if you're trying to get somewhere, and all of a sudden Elvis pops his face in front of you, you want to be able to send him to the moon, leave the building, He's gone on to the next enemy. And sometimes I'm considering range, but not often. And sometimes if I have extra slots, I'll put on overpressure ammo. And the reason is I like to see the enemy flinch. It makes them less accurate for bullets coming back at me. And I also put on a suppressor. I'm not really concerned about staying off the map in free for all. In fact, when the enemies converge on me, it makes them easier for me to find and gag and end up winning the game. So I'm I'll list all these out before the game starts, the gameplay starts. But while we're here, let's look at the damage. 44 to the head, and that reaches out to 16 meters. 37 to the upper and lower torso, and 34 to the upper leg. So what does that do for us? That means that if we can get them all in the head, and that's not impossible. Some creators will tell you you can't do that. I've done it, you've done it, and you know that it's a possibility. Then it's a 225 millisecond time to kill on a fully healthy enemy. If you mix in one shot, headshot, that's the same. So the Chimera deletes people, absolutely deletes people. The minimum damage range is 40.6 meters, so you can reach out pretty far. Bullet velocity, average-ish at 411, low average, but the rate of fire, 800 rounds per minute. Now, when you look at the recoil, we'll discuss that in a second, but you can see it's really high. When Grandpa's in game, he doesn't experience that recoil on the short to medium medium maps. I get long shots all the time. Easy to control. Aim assist helps if you're a console player, and I am. Well, we've already talked about the mobility and handling. Not the greatest hip fire machine, but you can hip fire 2.6 degrees per second. Now, these are all composite numbers. They are the sum total of all of the attachments that I've hung on this weapon. The 6.5 inch EXF Vorpal barrel. And you can see that piles on the mobility and handling. It piles on the recoil in a bad way, and it increases the range. 45 round mag doesn't do a lot bad to the weapon. In fact, the biggest impact is in the reload quickness. But I found that in free for all, you're going to have multiple engagements you better have the extra ammo available to you and not all of your shots hit I don't care how good you are I watched the CDL pros the entire season every game whether it was online or land and their bullets don't always hit so having the extra rounds available helps all of the impacts except for the ADS speed which is at 229 milliseconds with a sprint to fire at 122 average 
to goodish, but it's it's going to work for Grandpa. The Bruin Flash Grip. Once again, we pile on the ADS, but in a significant way, the Sprint to Fire. It's really what got us to 122 milliseconds. Hurts the recoil, but we've already spoken about the recoil. And finally, the collapsible stock. That's what really hurts the recoil, at least the numbers, in a big way. But look at the handling. 20% Sprint to Fire, 13% better ADS, and the bouncing back and forth, the ADS movement speed at 14%, and crouch movement speed, if you like to stare at your toes, increases that by 14%. So this is an awesome, awesome attachment, at least for the way Grandpa likes to play. So speaking of recoil, let's have a look in the shooting range and see what the recoil looks like, at least there. First, we're going to go hip fire, no recoil control anticipate we'll be shooting at the moon that's up and to the left now if we ads no recoil control up and to the left about the same so that's what we can expect let's have a quick look at aim idle sway and there is a significant amount of aim idle sway we'll keep that in mind let's take the hybrid smg assault rifle chimera onto the field of honor see how it did for grandpa see what it did to grandpa's sometimes friendly sometimes not enemies let's go before we start shooting i said i'd list the keys to my configuration and here they are they can change the precedence of the top three, ADS movement speed, ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and maybe sometimes range. If I have extra slots, I'll go for overpressure ammo and a suppressor to possibly keep me off the map. There it is. Yours may be different, but these work for me in free for all. So let's take them in. And also, shout out to Kasim Williams for asking me to do a Chimera build. I'm glad he did that. I'm happy to comply whenever I can on the subscriber requested configs. This one here is a corker. The Chimera chasing, was that a zombie? Generally, you have to shoot zombies in the head. Look at that. That thing fell over. I thought that was a person. I've never noticed that on this map. Comment if you've noticed that. Elvis steps on a proximity mine. That's why I put them out. Welcome, people, to my particular area. All right, this one started kind of slow. I couldn't find anybody to gack. Of course, people could find Grandpa. Well, easy enough there. There's a Muppet. The green man in a ghillie suit in the middle of a hotel. Never seen anybody walk into a nice hotel, especially a five or six star hotel if one exists, a six star, with a ghillie suit on. There is the teal terrorist, bright blue. Makes them easy to see. I don't know why people use those skins. Jump in for a Muppet and turn around and jump again to kill the zombie grandpa buys the farm this lobby had a few good players in it i mean grandpa was gacking but he wasn't getting the lead but the chimera was doing great you can see there that it just is spot on no matter the high recoil that was a jump shot and the weapon stayed centered on the enemy which, really, they aren't enemies. I mean, we're all friends after we gack each other a few dozen times. There's the teal terrorist in his bright skin. I appreciate people who wear bright skins. Grandpa tries to say his model. There he is again. As modeled as possible. Go, my mosquito child. The movement on this weapon isn't quite smg movement but it's not far from it the reach on it is not quite ar reach there's the teal terrorist but it's close to it so is this a weapon like a swiss army knife of weapons hey uh, put out a bigger welcome mat go to where the dj stands gack the zombie i mean this gun does it all whoa Turn around, drop shot, that was lucky. But you can see no recoil there. It absolutely stayed spot on the enemy. 
Same there. So the weapon is performing in the high recoil configuration. There's a Muppet up there. The tactical bus driver ended up fighting Grandpa for the top the whole time. He was camping. Oh, that is rude. Not a thing to do to a nice lady. He was camping the whole game. He was a Muppet, but he almost camped his way to victory. Let's put out a welcome mat. People can wipe their feet on it. Turret's doing some work. Grandpa's searching for an enemy. To call his own. You can see it just went straight as an arrow there. And there wasn't the downward aim after the enemy died. So you can, there's the Muppet, the tactical bus driver. Uh, there's the teal terrorist. We get people off head glitches with it. So I don't know what it is. I mean, a lot of you postulate that once there's a tactical bus driver, once trying to muppetize on top of the couch and the teal terrorist gets me, that once aim assist comes into play, that it overcomes the recoil. And I tend to agree with that analysis because I can't explain it any other way. What's on the paper isn't the same as what's in the game. And the Chimera is a prime example. There's Tactical Bus Driver and he's Elvis. Is a prime example of where you can profit from that knowledge. Especially, well, you console players. Because the Chimera is a powerful weapon. 44 headshot. Somebody tried to muppetize. I need two Gax before the Tactical Bus Driver gets one. And I'm not going to find them. Oh, I am going to find them there. See that? Just absolutely a jump shot over a head glitch, and it worked out fine. I need two more. One, and the teal terrorist was two. Grandpa was happy about the win. He was happy with the Chimera. You really need to try it. You really need to try that configuration. If you're on a console, you're going to end up dancing like Grandpa. Maybe not quite as good as Grandpa dances, but... Give it your best shot. So that was close in. See if we can get a, a map, the second map, with a little bit of distance. And there is some distance to be had on Brandon, Brandenburg Hotel. I tell you, Grandpa can't get out of the hotels, but I kind of like room service. So Nobody there at the check-in, so we'll gack the next customer so we can be first in line. You can see how fast the weapon moves. I mean, this Chimera is going to be a permanent class for Grandpa. Absolute permanent class, no doubt about it. I used it in the stream last night. Played with a lot of folks, a lot of subs. I had a good time, mostly. But we're going to see if we can improve the stream so that we can control the loadouts a little more. We can control who's on. Because it's fun to do snipers only, but when one person's carrying a shotgun instead of a sniper, the fun is ablated somewhat. Oh, there comes somebody. And you can see that the ADS movement speed worked for Grandpa as well as the lack of recoil on a high recoil essentially no stock weapon there's robot matador throw out a mosquito a child Let's see if it can find someone again i mean oh again it was the ads movement speed and you won't notice recoil as much uh, up tight at point blank range but someplace like right there you will oh was that tactical robot or matador? Robot matador, that's what it was. ADS movement speed. Throwing out the rounds, 45 rounds, that's important. Switched to the Renetti for a second and realized I still had 17 rounds. Now I'm going to have to use the Renetti and get gacked. It's a sad story. Often repeated in Grandpa's games. 
There's a wolf man. Grandpa's pretty comfortable with this weapon. You get your jump shots, tactical or robot matador, two jump shots, and it stays straight on. There's Wolfman, and he knows somebody else is coming, and we get them. Ooh, just a little confusion there. Hip shot isn't great with this, but it's not. It's good enough, especially if you have 45 rounds. Just keep putting out the lead. The old fighter pilot saying, as long as there's lead in the air, there's hope. Oh, there comes somebody trying to beat Grandpa down. That's, once again, elder abuse. These people are pretty rude. Oh, reclaimer shotgun reclaims. Grandpa sells them the farm. And crossfire is something you don't like to see. In free-for-all, it means you helped an enemy gain a spot on you. Sprint to fire speed, run from the grenade, and buy the farm inside a hotel. Looking for my next victim. Not worried about recoil. I wasn't going to do that to me twice. The robot matador likes to crouch, sniff his feet, and get behind a head glitch. But the chimera will find him out. But he's throwing out electricity there. Where'd they go? Oh, muppetizing. And somebody stepped on a proximity mine. Oh, they... they Stepped on the regular mine. There's no escaping for Grandpa. So he still is maintaining a lead. Where's that guy? Put out a place, Matt. Welcome, Matt. Let me know if you try this configuration. A lot of you are trying them, and you're seeing the same thing I am with the recoil. Oh, jumping. Where is this guy? There he is. Oh, no, 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 no. Wolfman. Wolfman decided not to shoot anymore, and I can understand why. And they've switched to knifing, which makes it easier. Robot Matador. And Grandpa gets melted. But he's in a good mood. That's me with a happy face, because we're 10 gacks ahead. Where is this person? track and paint through this nice hotel deserves to be gacked whoop almost didn't see him and you saw once again I'm, it's a broken record the recoil so let me know in the comments if you try this one out and if you make it a permanent class and keep the classes coming and just like the reclaimer shotgun keeps gacking grandpa Where are we? We can help check people in. Looking to Chimera, three more people. There's one. Look at there, at distance, and it's still good. Once the aim assist kicks in, I use dynamic aim assist, by the way. Hey, if you like it, like I said, let me know. Dance with me there. Please like and subscribe, helps me, helps the family out. Helps the community grow. Thank you. I appreciate that for everybody that's a member of the Air Crew Lounge. Little cheese at the end for Grandpa. Cheers to you. Have a great week ahead. And as always, peace.